Hi, I'm David Cross, and I'm running to become your new RNC National Committee man. Our current National Committee man is imploding as people question why his wife has been employed with the Secretary of State and taken hundreds of thousands of dollars in payments for services from Brad Raffensperger. The story is reverberating across the nation right now. I feel like it's a bigger issue than the recent ousting of my friend Brian Pritchard from the role of first vice chairman. Why? Because the Secretary of State has been enemy number one against election security, and you know who's not going to be critical of him is the guy whose family works for the Secretary of State. In my current role as your second vice chairman, I was initially told to sit in the back of the room and wait for the chairman to call on me. Fortunately, Chairman McCoon and I made amends in February, and working together, we, along with many others, helped to deliver the most massive changes in election security ever in the state of Georgia. But there's still more work to do. Some people feel like my position as the second vice chair is a good place for me to stay. But there's no guarantee that I will not be told again to sit in the back of the room and shut up. The executive director, Travis Bowden, has made it abundantly clear that my role has no responsibilities, and he reminds me of that every chance he gets. They just removed Brian, and I've been told that there will be a second swing at me first chance they get. If I become your RNC National Committee man, attempting to remove me will look abundantly foolish. Why? Because my name is on the Trump evidence that the president published on January 2nd, 2024. I've spent over three and a half years of my life now taking slings and arrows and as a people have attempted to, to discredit my work, and now there's a lame attempt to take me down. The power elites are trying desperately by writing in the fake news and bogus Georgia ass crack examiner that I voted against endorsing President Trump in January. Is this the best they can do? Come on. That low IQ, badly timed motion to endorse President Trump in January by our secretary seeking attention from the president, and she was pushed by a group that wanted to jumpstart a joint fundraising agreement with the Trump campaign. Honestly, it was all about the money. I'm an Eagle Scout and an ethical, honest man. It would have been unethical to take $25,000 from nine candidates and then instantly turn around and say, hey, thanks for the cash. We're endorsing the other guy. If I was one of the other candidates, I would have sued the Georgia GOP and it would have made it damn hard to ask for future candidates to, to give money. There's no dirt on me. And that scares the crap out of the power structure because they can't control me. That's why there's this new effort to shut me up, shut me down, or just get rid of me. If they're targeting this grassroots activist, you can be certain they don't want your voice in the club. Don't get me wrong. They want your money and your vote, but they want you to sit in the back and stay out of the way. My voice is your voice, and it will be the biggest one in the executive committee if you elect me as your national committee man. The position of national committee man puts me as your voice with a purpose on the executive committee, an equal to Josh and not under his control. No more sitting in the back of the room. For nearly a year, I've had both hands tied behind my back, yet I've managed to help achieve legislative changes to advance election security, despite attempts to, to silence me. Your choice and your voice has been silenced and subverted by the removal of Brian Pritchard. Me remaining a second vice chairman means nothing more than having a bigger target on my back if I stay a second vice chair. My friend, Jason Frazier, was recruited by the establishment specifically to divide the vote. The elites are doing their best to get the largest counties to vote as a block for Jason Thompson, all in an attempt to preserve their power structure. You see, some of the longtime party members are upset that I didn't wash the dishes for five years before moving up to chef. I say put people where they have the biggest impact. Everything we have accomplished has been despite the efforts to silence my voice, your voice, and block our efforts. A vote for either of the Jasons is a vote to block your voice. Do you want to let them silence us now? We are so close to having a loud and proud voice for the grassroots on a national level to support President Trump and restore our country. Now is the time to grab the brass ring of victory from the elites. I'm David Cross. And I humbly ask for your vote for National Committee Man.